I guess in this video, I am going to discuss about classified data in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So if you right click on database and here go to task and here you can find to add here or data discovery and classification. So add here click classify data. Now here you can find save add classification view report and here is schema table column information and sensitivity level so add here we need to click on add classification now here select the schema so let's select add here dbo and here you can find so this is the table inside dbo so let's select add here emp now emp so add here address id and name columns are there so let's select add here ID. So ID is the uh, confidential information. So here you can make that networking, contact, credential, credit card, banking, national ID, like this kind of thing. So let's select add here national ID. Now by default it's a selected sensitivity level confidential GDPR. Now here after let's click on add. So add here, there is a one schema name DBO table EMP and here column ID and here information tab and here sensitivity level, it's added. So like this, you can add more. So here after one more thing, we need to click add here, save. So add here, the classification changes has been updated successfully. Now here after, let's click on add again. So this time going to select add here HR schema so inside HR here you can find uh, okay one more thing so add here when I select uh, escort okay inside escort you can find all DPT EMP and sales grant so add here sales grant highest salary grade so this is not uh, highly confidential so let's select add here bonus let's uh, select uh, sale so sometimes or some or add here some company donors say or so the salary of the employee so i'm going to make that add here credential okay so you credential now here after click on add so there is a two classify columns it's added click on save now here after let's add more so escort selected now let's select sh now here after the next thing is sh that selected so there is a problem right here when i select hr okay now here i got hr schema and here table now if i select add here sh so now here you can find it it's a refresh now here you can find this tables inside sh now here let's select a sales so add here sales so add here or channel ID, customer ID. So this information are highly sensitive. So at here you can select at here channel ID and here you can make that to channel ID like uh, SS at here financial like uh, this is a channel for financial. Now it's a completely sensitive level. Now here after click on add and here after save. Now like this you can add more. So add here SH it's fine. Now here after there are some others or tables or inside there. Let's so select at here countries ID. Or you can select at here employees. So add here customer and here. Okay, let's so select okay customer. Now add here customer country ID is to make you can make country ID information as SS number. So the security number full form. Now here this is a confidential. Here you can make highly confidential like this kind of information and add. Now here after save. So here after I added for add here classify columns. Now here after it save. Now click on view report. So here, here you can find it's a loading the data here. So at here classify column, so total 978 here 4. 
table containing sensitive 88 for and here unique information for and here you can uh, get the details DBO and here ENT ID national ID here escort bonus sal credential and here SS con so this kind of information you can do that so at here I'm currently using SQL Server 2017 so with SQL Server 2017, you get to this kind of for classified data features. So at here, if you're using at here SQL Server, here you can find data discovery and classification. Here you can find or uh, classify. Now here you can see the general report here. But if you're using at here SQL Server 2014, here I'm using SQL Server 2014. Now if you're logging with SA and give the password, so at here, these so features are not inside SQL Server 2014. So I highly recommend you, you should use SQL Server 2017 and above version. So here, let's select uh, Adam Database and here go to task. Here you cannot find anywhere classify. So here you cannot find. So this is the way we can create SQL data classification in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.